Hey everybody, LW Legends here with an update video on the unkillable zombies. Okay, uh, I do have this in creative mode right now and uh, I am on flying mode. So let's uh, show you what I've built here. I have found a way to, I guess, kill them, uh, at least if nothing else, to control the unkillable zombies that I showed you in my other video. Um, what I did, I started, I built a uh, just a two high wall down here and it's just kind of to keep them in and to keep other zombies out for the sake of this experiment and uh i built this up i think it's i don't know 15 or 20 up i don't remember how many i went up but it's high enough that if something falls off of it they will die and then i built a platform at the top so uh without further ado what we're going to do is we're going to hit the d uh, the tilde key pull up the dm menu by typing dm in the box and we're going to hit f6 and we're going to go ahead and spawn one of the unkillable zombies. Okay. Now, they won't just walk off the edge. Uh, zombies are, are kind of smart like that. I'm not going to use that shotgun because that has slugs in it and it will uh, break the blocks right off the bat. Uh, but uh, just to show you, these guys are unkillable. You cannot shoot them. You can't hit them. You can't destroy them. I've tried everything. Running them over with mini bike, blowing them up. This is the only way that I have found that you can uh, that you can like kill these guys. Okay, so they do look kind of cool. Um, like I said in my other video, they look kind of like a fresh spawn except for the way that they walk. Uh, but you can't kill them by shooting them, hitting them, blowing them up or anything like that. Well, let's drop the block out from underneath them that they're standing on. And of course, you'll be kind of on the other side. There we go. Okay, let's go down there and watch. Now, you saw how she was tracking me uh, up top. Well, now down here, after she falls, she stops tracking. You still can't hit her. There's nothing there. Uh, but she'll stand there for a couple of minutes and eventually just turn into a pile of, of goo, just basically a zombie block, a uh, zombie uh, gore block, if you will. So I'm going to speed up the video here until that happens, so you can see it happen, and I'll be right back with you. There it goes. Okay, guys, so she just turned into a pile of uh, gore, uh, so she is officially dead, and now you can destroy that. Now, the other way that you can kill them is let's go ahead and spawn one in down here. So we're going to hit F6 and spawn one in. And just to show you, uh, they, they do damage. They, they really can hurt, just like any other zombie, as you can see. Now I'm bleeding out. Um, there we go. Okay, so they're very dangerous because you can't shoot them. Uh, but the other way that you can kill them is to essentially drop blocks on top of them. Um, this will work in a building. If they're in a big building, you can blow up the building. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more just so there's some blocks to drop on them. All right. And what I'm going to do is make this easy and fun. We're going to use the rocket launcher. And let's hope I can hit this. So, boom. And of course the blocks didn't hit her. <laughs> okay, so let's rewind and start over. Okay guys, take two. Um, the first one did not hit her. All the blocks scattered out too far. So uh, we're going to... Uh, try it again uh, but it does kill them if the blocks fall on them so rather than using the rocket launcher i am going to attempt without killing myself to break the block uh, out from underneath this so that these fall as well okay there we go and let's go down and see if that hit her if she's motionless then it did hit her Yes, okay. So she's not tracking me. She's technically dead right now. Uh, she just has not turned into a gore block yet. Oh, that guy is there, however. Let's try shooting her while she's in this space. And still nothing. I mean, I can destroy the blocks, but it does not destroy her. 
Okay, so again, we'll speed up the video until she turns into a gore block and uh, be right back with you. Okay, guys, so she turned into a gore block and uh, now she's gone and you can destroy the gore block just like you would any other gore block. Um, unfly. Oh, and it's gone. So, in, uh, in reality, this could make for some kind of a zoo because you could build multiple cages or enclosures like this. Um, their tracking uh, works the same as other zombies. Um, they will destroy the blocks and or attempt to um, until you're out of sight. Um, they'll forget about you and then they'll just stay in there. Um, if you can build a way that other zombies can't get to them and that they don't see you so they can't track you or sense you, uh, you could actually start some kind of a zombie zoo. Um, somebody post that in, the, in a video or uh, a comment to me and let me know if you've done that. I would like to see some kind of a zombie zoo. Um, that's about it for this episode, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, start a conversation. I will answer every comment. And uh, as always, I appreciate you watching. And hey, guys, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. I really need you to. Um, share this video. We will see you in the next episode.